number 9 we are given a graph of the x coordinate of a particle as a function of the time and we need to find the average velocity during 0 to 10 second part A and part B instantaneous velocity at 2, 5, 8 and 12 seconds. So let's do the easiest part. Let's find the instantaneous velocity at t equal to 5 seconds. At t equal to 5 seconds, the, the particle is stationary. It stops at 50. If this is x-axis, the particle has stopped at 50 meters. And therefore, at this point of time, the velocity is 0. Now let's do this part. What is the velocity somewhere at 2, t equal to 2? The velocity will be given by delta x divided by delta t. Now, this is a straight line. So, the velocity of this part key all along this will be same and it will be given by the slope of this curve. The slope of this curve will be this 50 divided by 2.5. So, answer number 2 will be 50 divided by 2.5 and this will be equal to 20 meter per second. So, this is done. This is done. Now at 8 and 12 seconds, let us see what happened at 8. At 8, this is somewhere here. So the particle, the, the velocity will be given by the slope of this line. This is delta x divided by delta t. Delta x is changing from 50 to 100 or 50 divided by this time between 7.5 to 10.5 is 2.5. This is also 20 meter per second. And from 8 to 12, and then at 12 seconds, that means we are trying need to find somewhere here. The velocity is negative and is given by the slope of this line. So it is 0 minus 100, 0 minus 100 divided by this time 10 to 15, that is 5, and this will be equal to 100 by 5 or minus 20 meter per second. So this is part B we have done earlier. Part A, we can do it many ways. And I would like you to look at my answer to question number 11 to get a more understanding of this. The average velocity of the particle during the 0 to 10 second. During the 0 to 10 second, the positive, the particle keeps moving all along the positive x-axis. It never returns back. It is always going in the positive x-axis direction. So the velocity of the particle will be the distance travel, the total distance travel is 100. The velocity v will be equal to distance travel 100 divided by the distance travel and the displacement is same because the particle keeps moving in the positive x direction divided by the time taken or 10. This is 10 meter per second. This is the answer. Let us confirm it from the answer. Sheet question number 9. This is here, right here, 10 meter per second, 20, 0, 20, minus 20. So 20, this is A, 0, 20, minus 20. The question is done.